93.5. Brooke and Jubal's second date update. You know, I've hosted a lot of speed dating events for different companies. Yeah. And I never actually thought that people ever go out on dates from speed dating because they're the most awkward things mm. ever. I'm with you on that Usually one. people sit together like, oh, you got a minute and a half to do your date. And they sit there and they're quiet and they look at each other. Most of the time the guy's trying to talk to the girl who is already looking at the next table over because she sees a guy who's way better looking <laughs> and is just ignoring him the whole time. Yeah. It, they're just bad and, and awkward. But apparently... People actually do meet someone on a speed date that they'd like to see a little longer in person. Mm. Sort of like what happened with Zach, who was on the phone with us for a second date update. Zach apparently met the girl that he wants us to call today on a speed dating adventure. Mm. Is that right, Zach? Yeah. How are you guys doing? Good, man. Good. So it actually worked out for you, huh? The awkward awesome. speed dating thing. Well, yeah. You know, I was, I was shocked. Have you done speed dating type stuff before, or is this the first time you had done it? You know, I totally agree with you, man. It always seems kind of awkward or weird. So I stayed away from it for yeah. the longest time my buddy and i both ended up going just for the hell of it because we dared each other to, to do it and i it was funny because most of the girls there were just they just definitely were not my type there's one girl i totally connected with and uh and that's the girl i ended up going on a date with carly what did you learn about carly in that minute and a half that just made you think wow i was wrong about this she's hot you know <laughs> you know we talked about a lot of different things for it. it was it wasn't so much that it was just the, the vibe i got from her she just, just seemed so different and down to earth and yeah, I, I, probably because she was new in town she told me that she's just gotten to uh to the area i imagine in a situation like that zach it's not so much what you learn about each other it's like if you guys can even have somewhat of a decent conversation <laughs> in a minute and a half so what did you guys do on your actual date so because she said she was new in town i wanted to take her to pike place I, I wanted to kind of show her a little bit of what it is that we're known for in the area and so we went there, we walked around, we had some food. She's a really easygoing girl, and we had great conversation. And we did some of the – I got her to, to, to throw some salmon in the in the marketplace, which was a lot of fun. Oh, do you like the fish catch? Yeah, she really dug it. I mean, it was just cool overall. It was just really easy with her. Okay. How long has she been in town? You said she's new in town. When did she move here? When I met her at speed dating, it was three weeks. So, oh, wow. And we actually got together just a few days after that. So, yeah, it's been like a little less than a month. Where's she from? She's from Tennessee. Oh, I bet she has a really cute accent, too. Yeah, she's very sweet, very down-to-earth. I even bought her some flowers over there, and it's almost like I just bought her a new car. You know, she's just, like, the biggest smile on, on her face, and she's just, like, so happy and just really, really super nice girl. All right, so you had a good time. Yeah, I had a great time. All right. I would think as a, as a good old Southern girl, she would be getting flowers every day, like for every date she went on, but <laughs> she thought it was an unusual thing. I don't even think she really expressed that it was unusual. It was just the way that she was thankful for it. And she just like made me feel special that I even thought of giving her flowers. You know what I mean? She's a a country girl from Tennessee. (laughs) I go to the big city and this man's buying me flowers. What's next? Is he going to ask for my hand in marriage? Oh, you can, you. (laughs) How did the date end? Did you guys share a kiss? Anything more than that? I walked her to the car, and I wanted to be a gentleman about it and just mm-hmm. give her a kiss on the cheek. Well, of course you do, and... sir. <laughs> a real sweet. southern lady would never kiss on the lips on a first date. You know that. <laughs> That's sweet. Is it, does How it did... feel like you're on the date with her right now, me doing <laughs> that to you? I feel the chemistry. Yeah. Yeah, yeah can I get your number, man? <laughs> <laughs> you, you know you can. <laughs> you can go out. I'll drink a lot. All right, so you <laughs> kissed her on the cheek, wanted to be a gentleman. She's obviously not calling you back. How long has it been? How many times have you tried to get a hold of her? I called her a couple times, texted her a couple of times, and it's just clear to me that she's just blowing me off at this point, which is really weird because I wasn't expecting that. Do you get any response from anything? Nothing. That's what's weird. That's what's really tripping me out. And the weird thing is, is when you're new to town, I mean, I've been new to town before, and you basically call anybody that calls you back because you have no friends. <laughs> yeah, you know, the thing, and I don't want to sound morbid about it, but I'm just, because she's new to town, I'm, I hope that something didn't you know, didn't go wrong. Like, you know, no, I do. Hey, no, you're, that's perfectly acceptable the way you're thinking. <laughs> Anytime that I've ever gone out with a girl and she hasn't called me back in my mind, I'm like, she must've died. Yeah. You know something? <laughs> that's the crossed. only way a woman does not call this guy back. <sighs> Zach, you and I are in the same boat, buddy. Uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll play a song, <laughs> come back, call her, get her on the phone and get your second date update. Okay. All right, cool. Thank you. All right. Hang on. Moving 92.5. Brooke and Jubal in the Mornings, second date update. Hey, Zach. Yep. After thinking more about your situation, I don't really think you need to worry. I think you might be a little premature. Really? 
Okay. Why is that? Well... Any girl that is new to this area, it's like a feeding frenzy. Like, dudes just <laughs> attack them left and right. You know, because, like, we're not very attractive in this part of the world. So there's a lot of uggos out here. So as soon as a hot girl from Tennessee ends up on the scene, guys are going to be after her like crazy. So she's probably just got tons of dates, and she'll get around. You're, like, maybe, like, 15th on the list. You know? How does that make you feel? All right, great. Yeah, <laughs> All right, no need for the second date update then. I'd like to just take the wind out of your sails right before we yeah, give her a call and see why she's not giving you a call back. Sorry about that, Zach. Yeah, yeah, it feels great, guys. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. Zach, I got your back. I think that if the date went as well as you said it did, then there is could be 20 guys that she went out on the date with, and she'd still want to call you back. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's the way I'd like to see it. Okay, well, I'm going to dial the number right now, see if we can get her on the phone. And then get your second date update. You ready to go? Yep. All right, here we go. Please enjoy this ring back tone while your party is reached. Ooh, fancy. <laughs> Hello? Hi, can I speak to Carly, please? Yes, this is she. Carly, how are you? This is Jubal from Brook and Jubal in the Morning. I'm doing good. Who did you say what? Jubal from Brook and Jubal in the Morning, a radio station here in town. I know that you're new to the area, and what we do is we get a list of people that have just moved here, and we call them to welcome them to town. So, <laughs> welcome, Carly. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's real nice of you. Yeah, it is. So, <laughs> where, so you're, you're, where are you from? You're from Tennessee? Yes. And nice. And how long you been here? Um, <laughs> just about a month. Is, is this really what y'all do? Carly, I'm not actually just calling to welcome you to town. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You recently went out on a date with one of our listeners. You're calling me about a date that I went on? Yes, I am. You recently went out with a guy named Zach who listens to our show. You met during speed dating. Wow, y'all do things real different in Seattle. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, welcome to well, our city. So you went out with Zach, right? And he liked you a lot, but now you're not giving him a call back. So he emailed us to see if we could get you on the phone and find out if he did something wrong on your date. Okay. So what would you think of Zach? Um, he was real nice. Okay, so no problems with Zach. Then why haven't you been giving him a call back? He says that he's tried to get a hold of you a bunch after your date. I don't really want to say. Honestly. Is it embarrassing? Well, a little embarrassing for him, not so much for me. Okay, well, that's perfect then. <laughs> I don't mean it's perfect that it's embarrassing for him, but he's the one that wanted to know. So if it's something that's embarrassing about him, he's willing to hear whatever it is. So I just feel real bad because he was real nice, you know. Think about it this way, Carly. It's not mean to give constructive feedback. You're helping him out down the line. This might right, help but him. I just, I just want everyone to know that he is a real nice guy, and he treated me real well, and I don't have anything against him. We know that you like him. We know that you don't have any ill will towards him, and mm -hmm. you don't think that he's a jerk or whatever. But what is he doing, or what did he do on the date that was embarrassing enough to make you not want another date with him? He sort of made these weird noises. Like when he was talking, or? Like throughout our date like we would just be talking and then all of a sudden he would go like that with his like you make that sound his mouth okay <laughs> Did he? are you are you picky are you normally a picky person when you date no no honestly not at all i mean i was just a little confused like i don't want to say anything because i thought maybe he like maybe he had like a tick or something uh-huh mm -hmm. And I didn't want to be mean and i know people have that and i understand that so i wasn't going to say anything but he kept doing it and then Finally, at the end of the date, I just sort of asked him because I, I figured I, I might as well ask. How'd you ask him? Just, hey, what's up with that weird noise you're making? <laughs> yeah, I, well, he made the noise and I, and I kind of I kind of laughed and I was like nicely and I was like, hey, like, what's that noise you're making? Yeah. <laughs> like, what's, what's that about? What did you he know? say? Like, and he goes, <laughs> he goes, I'm just taking mental pictures. <laughs> I'm taking mental, mental pictures. So, oh my God. so he's taking <laughs> mental pictures on your date, which is, I guess, fine. But he's actually making a camera noise when he does it. Oh my God! Yeah, <laughs> like at least he could do it silently. You know what yeah. I mean? That's pretty oh, weird. That's so, funny. so let me get this straight. All right, just so I can so, really. It was so sweet, but it was just so like I don't know. It was just I was very 
weirded out because he's like, you know, I just want to remember how beautiful you are and like where we are now. And when, you know, when I toss the fish or whatever it is they all do at that time. <laughs> Did you laugh when he told you that? I think involuntarily. I <laughs> yeah. I, didn't, I was a little bit weirded out. So I didn't really know what to do. That was my reaction. I kind of like, oh. <laughs> yeah, did you, did you try to play it off like like it's a cute thing? Like, oh, I just like you so much. I want to take a mental picture of you. Yeah, I think he thought that would like do it for me or something. Yeah. Like, okay. But it honestly was, I felt like, oh my gosh, I'm in an episode of CSI or something, you know? Like, that's, what, that's what the murderer does before he gets caught. That's how the mind is. Yeah. That's his tell. Okay. Oh, my gosh. So you don't want to call him back because he takes mental pictures of things and makes a camera noise when he does it. It wasn't just that. It's just that he thought that that was, like, a cute thing to do. I was like, what other cute things does he think is okay? Yeah. <laughs> Carly, wouldn't you be interested to hear an explanation from him about his mental camera that he brings with him? <laughs> Not really. He told me enough on the date. I don't really need to hear anymore. That's a shame. <laughs> That's a shame, Carly, because Zach is actually on the other line right now and has been listening to this whole conversation. And taking mental pictures. <laughs> hey, Carly. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. <laughs> really? That's the reason why you don't call me back? Just because of that? Uh, Just because of that. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm so uncomfortable right now. I don't really know what to do. <laughs> Um, well, you know what? When I first heard what you guys were saying, I felt a little embarrassed, but man, I'm kind of thinking about the bigger picture here. Maybe it was all in the delivery because it really was supposed to be funny. It was supposed to make you <laughs> laugh. I mean, we were having a great time. I was supposed to make you smile. But oh, I didn't, I didn't whole... think that was very funny, honestly. I just... <laughs> Listen, I was just trying to be romantic. You know, there's plenty of girls that would be totally cool with me doing something like that that's kind of romantic and in a silly way, you know? Listen, I'm sure maybe... There are some girls somewhere that think that's cute or romantic, but it's it just the first time you're meeting someone, you know, it's just it was just a little much. Mm -hmm. It just it's worked was for me very... before. Like I, I taken metal pictures of a lot of girls, and <laughs> you know, they don't seem to have an issue with it. Like. You are having an issue with it. Zach's got a mental photo library. Yeah. Yeah. So, so this is your thing, Zach, to be cute with the ladies and romantic. You're like, you're so beautiful. I'm going to take a mental picture. You like that? I don't I don't know why you guys are all being weird about it. Because it's one thing to do it once, Zach. Like, maybe you did it once and that's cute. But to make that noise throughout an entire date? Whatever. It's romantic. You guys obviously don't know what you're talking about. Oh. It's, it's worked for me in the past. Everybody seems to be cool with it, except for you guys. For, for well, I mean, <laughs> All right, the well. one positive thing is he really does like you a lot. Mm -hmm. That is true. Zach, do you want to go out with Carly again? I do. You do. Okay, Carly, would you like to go out with Zach again? We will pay for a second date. Maybe Zach leaves his mental camera at home in the mental camera bag yeah. and doesn't bring it along on your next date. Would you go out with him again? We will pay for it, Carly, if it helps. I mean, on honestly, I'm still a little bit weirded out, but now that I have been publicized on the radio, <laughs> I feel like I have to say yes. Yeah. So. <laughs> and Zach's not a bad guy. He yeah. just li He's just a mental photographer, <laughs> and that's just what he does. Oh, man. Well, now you're making me think that I should say no because it sounds real creepy the way you say it. No, <laughs> don't. I'm not trying to do that, all right? So we'll send you guys out again. Congratulations, Zach. You got Woo! your second date. Thanks, guys. Yeah, yeah man. I took a big beating through all of that, but... <laughs> you came out hey, alive. And, and Zach, if the date goes really well and you guys end up together at the end of the night, oh, I no. want you to forward me some of those mental pictures, uh -oh, all right? Maybe Video camcorder. Yeah. <laughs> We're actually right in the middle of it, just... Shh. <laughs> Broken Jubal in the morning. Before we even played the second date update for you, I asked for an audience poll. Text us at 78592 if what the guy did on his date was creepy or romantic. We asked the question because Zach wanted us to call this girl Carly. We got her on the phone. It, fi it came out the reason that she does not want to go out on a second date with Zach is because during the whole date, he would stop and go, Ch -ch -ch. I'm taking a mental picture of this. So he was taking mental pictures on the date. It's a move that he's done many times, and he says kills it. Yeah. Women always think it's romantic, and it always works for him. It's Brook and Jubal in the morning on Moving 92.5. <laughs> Out of all the texts that came in about this second date update, 98% of them say creepy. <laughs> we did get one person. One person out of the hundreds of text messages wow. that we got that says 
I'd be interested in that. <laughs> I think it's romantic. So one person actually kind of think it's cute. It's probably him defending himself. Yeah. Right yeah. He's like, wait a second. <laughs> so yeah, pretty much very creepy to take mental pictures well, while you're out on a date. And the thing is, if you're taking a mental picture of something, mm-hmm. do it in silence. Yeah. Making a camera noise yeah. and then saying that you're taking mental pictures of stuff is probably not going to be considered very romantic. Emphasis yeah, on it, the mental It may part. even be less yeah. creepy to just take the picture with yeah. your cell phone, yeah. like a real picture. Oh, no, she very probably true. would have yeah. liked that. Oh, put this on Instagram. Yeah, Come exactly. On. An actual picture is a lot less creepy than a mental picture. Mm-hmm. Lesson learned. <laughs> if you want a second date update, all you have to do is email the show, brookandjubal at moving925.com. We will call the person... Who didn't call you back? Move at 92.5 presents Freak Night 2014.